I love love. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's kind of a long night. Um, I think we're all pretty tired, so I hope I don't take up too much of your time. But I'm Angelo. I'm a rising sophomore majoring in financial economics with a minor in entrepreneurship. So I go by he and pronouns, and I'm running for one of your D6 reps. My experience in FASA this past year has been nothing short of amazing. In my first year here in college at UMBC, I've met so many great people, made many connections, and I owe it to everyone here and everyone online and just everyone in FASA just for giving me the opportunity to do all of that. But before talking about anything, I just want to thank Maggie and Adam for being such great guides for me and also Rose as well for welcoming me into D6 board as the second proxy. Being on board as a D6 proxy this year has shown me that I can do more than just tag along in a crowd. I have proven that I can work well with others. I can build relationships with not just FASA general body, but with people outside of UMBC as well. I'm pretty close with some people in SAA at UMCP, and I would like to work on getting closer with other schools in the district as well as, um, yeah. As D6 rep, um, one of my goals is to further strengthen our relationship with the other schools in the district. Given our close relationship with College Park already, I also would like to get closer with other schools in the district as well. Towson, GMU, Johns Hopkins, etc. In addition to getting close with the Filipino organizations from other schools, some of you, I think all of you know now that uh, I've also joined Lambdas just like Andrew. One of the main benefits of uh, um, Lambda and just Greek life in general is that um, I can meet so many great people from different schools. No matter if I mean different schools, it can be from UMBC, it can be from College Park, it can be from wherever. Um, with those connections that I would I plan to establish in the next year, um, I also would like to bring those people out to our big events such as D6 basketball, semi, and all of the all of the D6 events that we have planned. Um, I say all this about my connections because I would like to bring our heart and soul to D6, otherwise known as our motto and mentality of FASA is family, and bring the entire district together and make us more unified. This year, we were finally back in person and we were able to bring back semi and basketball for everyone to enjoy. D6 was also able to hold like our first D6 volleyball. And while all these events were good, there were definitely some things in each event that we can, we can definitely improve on as a, as a D6 board. And I know especially for basketball, um, unfortunately, and all of UMBC kind of left after we played our, all of our games. Um, so, but basically, I plan to make volleyball, semi, and especially basketball um, more fun so that no matter whether you're playing, whether you're not playing, that you guys can stay for the entire time. I would like to cater to you guys, I would like to cater to FASA while, being, while still being on D6 board. So for volleyball and basketball, of course, the players are gonna have fun. That's, that's kind of a given. But what about the spectators? Like yes, you're gonna watch the games, but there's only so much that, that they can actually have fun by watching the games. Like, it's so dependent on, on the players and how much they do. So I also, like, say I win rep, I would also like to make things interesting for spectators. Outside of like, uh, like for basketball, we had a halftime show. I also plan to put more games and also more vendors on the side so that there's more to do than just watch the games. While we have big events like semi and basketball, I would also like to do more events outside of the traditional. First off, I would like to bring back Merienda, which we kind of had last year, or we, we couldn't get to do this year. But, and for those who don't know, it's an event for where social and cultural issues can be brought up amongst the Filipino community. Um, one thing that we did, which ended up being virtual, was um, D6 service option. And since we're kind of going back in person, COVID is, while it's still, I understand it's still there, but it seems like everyone is embracing being fully in person again. I would like to make service option in person of, across the entire district. And that's, and this coming school year, it's going to be the year where D6 will make leaps and bounds 
or become closer with one another, and I believe that we can make it happen. Thank you, and I hopefully I will come out as one of your biggest success.